Geopolitical uncertainty is good for the price of precious metals, right? We know that. And do we have geopolitical uncertainty right now? Geopolitical strife between major nations in the world? I'd say we do. I imagine you would say that we do too. As a matter of fact, we've got a whopper of geopolitical uncertainty right now in the world. Actually, more like a double whopper. We're going to cover that in this video. Let's get started right now. Wow, the world is changing super, super fast, right? We've got major, major issues in Europe with the Russians. And now, and now we've got the situation with China and Taiwan, okay? And the Chinese are not backing down. This morning it was announced that Nancy Pelosi was going to stop in Taiwan. At least that's the way I understand it. I think Tuesday night she's going to go into Taiwan. The Chinese have been very clear that they believe Taiwan is part of their country, okay, that they own Taiwan and have warned precipitously, if that's the right word, do not send a major U.S. diplomat into Taiwan. I think the way they see it is if like the situation were reversed, right? And the Chinese were going to send uh, one of their major leaders into, let's say like Puerto Rico or something like that. Like, like we think we kind of own Puerto Rico, that it's part of the United States, not really part of the United States. I don't know all the specifics to that, but you know what I'm saying. And the Chinese are, are, are saying, well, no, we're going to send some major political leaders into Puerto Rico. We would be freaked out. That's the way they see it. Now, as a matter of fact, a couple of their major news agencies, which are government controlled for the most part in China, have said some pretty drastic things. Um, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but things like it would be dangerous for Nancy Pelosi to go to Taiwan, that it would almost be like an act of war. So things are getting very, very serious in Asia. All the while, we've got the Russians uh, you know, going into Ukraine in this major war, no other way to put it, going on a real, real war already between the East and the West in Europe. Whew, could we ask? I mean, that's the double whopper, right? Uh, Asia and uh, Europe right now, major conflict and one in potential, and it seems to be the needle is moving in that direction in Asia as well. What the heck is going on? Now, we know how to protect ourselves in these types of situations. Real assets, gold, silver, have traditionally done very well during times of major geopolitical strife because they're independent, right? They don't care, right? Uh, the Chinese love gold. The Russians love gold. Americans love gold. Don't forget, we got supposedly a bunch of it in Fort Knox, right? People in South America, people in Antarctica, everywhere, everywhere in the world loves gold. That's why it provides a safe haven. Also, it's always been valuable. Well, at least the last 5,000 years. So investors in the precious metals uh, can somewhat you know, feel comfortable that they have an insurance policy against, po you know, potential major geopolitical issues. We don't want to see war. None of us want to see all this going on. You know, 99% of us, we don't want to see anybody die or anybody be hurt by war, but we aren't pulling the strings. All we can do is protect ourselves, right, as individuals, protect ourselves, protect our families. And that's what we choose to do with the precious metals. Hey, I appreciate you deciding to join me here in Ron's Basement. You are always welcome here. You can subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, turn on bell notifications, share it anywhere you like, leave a comment below. I read all of them. I can't respond to all of them, but I do read what you say. It's important. You're important. I appreciate your time, and I'll look forward to seeing you again.